horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of headbangers kitchen folks today we're going to be cooking up a grilled chicken in a creamy red bell pepper sauce and it doesn't matter if you're low carb keto or high protein with a few tweaks this recipe will fit any diet i'll put all the information on the blog post on headbangerskitchen.com anyway enough jibber jabber let's get cooking I'm going to start by preheating my oven to 230 degrees Celsius or 450 Fahrenheit. Next, I prep my red bell peppers which are the red peppers that make up this sauce. I cut it in half and then I remove the seeds and the stem and clean it up real nice and then it's ready for the oven. I also take a small red onion and cut it into quarters. And I also get two peeled cloves of garlic. I get my roasting tray and I line it with some foil which will make the clean up easier. And then I place my cleaned and prepped red bell peppers along with the onions and the garlic. Now I brush everything with some bacon fat that I had lying around. But as always you can use any cooking fat you like. I recommend olive oil. Then I pop the tray into the oven and cook for about 20 to 25 minutes till the peppers are nice and soft. Alternatively you can also roast them on the stove top directly on the flame. And of course make sure you use tongs. Hope you enjoy this mock roasting on a non-existent flame. Anyway, now we're going to make a seasoning for our chicken and it starts with some salt, some black pepper powder, some dried oregano and some paprika. Then give it all a good mix. This is what you call a dry rub and you can use this on chicken, fish, pork or even beef. It's great. For this recipe, I will be using chicken breast. So to prep them, I like to start by taking out the chicken tender from the breast if it comes attached. It's basically the chicken tenderloin. Then what I like to do is butterfly the thickest part of the breast and cut that off. This gives me three pieces of chicken from one breast. I'll do one more to show you. But the reason I do this is because it gives me chicken pieces with a uniform thickness and they cook quicker. This is just a personal preference and you can leave the breast whole if you like. Anyway, once I'm done prepping the chicken, it's time to season it now with our dry rub. So make sure you season it generously and on both sides and then just pop it in the fridge till you are ready to cook them. Once the bell peppers are done cooking, get them out of the oven. Now take a moment to admire how nice they look. You can take them a lot darker if you like, but I think this does the job for me. Now I take the peppers out from the oven tray and put them in a bowl and cover the bowl with a lid. I take the onions and garlic out as well and put them in another bowl. Now the reason the peppers are in a bowl and covered is because they will steam with the residual heat making the skins easier to remove. After about 10 minutes you can take the lid off and now it's time to peel the peppers. They may still be hot so be careful. You can wait for them to cool but I just went for it anyway. Most of the skin should peel off super easy. Don't worry if you can't get all of it off. There is a little trick that will sort you out. I'll show you a bit later. Anyway, peel those peppers and then throw them back into the bowl. Now to make the sauce, I get my blender and add in my peeled peppers with any juices that might be in the bowl. I add in the onions and garlic as well. I season it now with some salt, pepper, dried oregano, paprika and add a bit of water. Then I just blend that. Once it's done blending, open it up and you have a nice thick sauce that's ready to use. However, I'm going to try and get that restaurant level super silky sauce. So I'm going to strain it now. This will get rid of any of that extra skin that might have gotten in plus any fibrous bits that you don't want in there. Actually, this sauce can be drunk like a soup if you think about it. I'm not kidding. Anyway, once that's strained, we have a lovely silky smooth sauce and now it's time to cook the chicken. I get my pan on the stove and I heat up some bacon fat. Once again, if you don't have bacon fat, use any cooking fat you like. I recommend olive oil. Once the pan is hot, I add in my chicken. And remember, since it's chicken breast, it's going to cook fast. Since we sliced it thinner, it will cook doubly fast. So once you get some color on one side, Flip it over and just look at the color on that bird. These will literally take two minutes on each side and they will be done. So once you've got some color on the second side, take it off the pan. Now since I didn't want to crowd the pan, I'm doing this in two batches. So I just repeat that process of adding in the fat, then frying on one side, flipping it over, 
frying it on the second side and then removing it from the pan. Now I'm going to pour my sauce from the blender straight into the hot pan. What this does is it deglazes the pan getting all those delicious pan flavors into the sauce. Once this starts bubbling now I'm going to grate in some parmesan cheese keeping those Italian flavors you know and then I add some heavy cream and give everything a good mix. Now it's time to add those chicken breasts back into the pan along with the resting juices so that they can get better acquainted with the sauce. And I finish the dish now with some fresh parsley and I grate a little more parmesan cheese on top of that. That my friends looks like it's done and ready. It looks so good. I can't wait to actually eat it. Anyway, first I need to plate the dish for my photographs. So we're back to my black plate on my black slate and I place those chicken pieces on that plate and pour some of that sauce around it. Oh yeah, that looks so good. And of course, I grate a little more Parmesan cheese on top for good measure. So ladies and gentlemen, our grilled chicken in a creamy red pepper sauce is done and ready. It's definitely a winner winner chicken dinner. But as always, I can't let you go without cutting into the chicken and showing you the cross section. Oh yeah! Anyway, enough jibber jabber, time to taste. Alright folks, it's time to taste the chicken in the creamy red bell pepper sauce. And what you didn't know is that this dish is inspired by Dipti who ordered a prawn risotto with a similar sauce. And didn't like it. Yeah, but I liked it so I said I'm gonna remake it with chicken. So you're hoping I like this better than the prawn risotto? Yes, I hope so. Okay. Fingers crossed. Anyway, shall we? Yeah. Let's dig in. Oh yeah. I like it. You don't like it? I mean, it's really nice if you like bell pepper sauces. Yeah, like it's 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 a nice yummy bell pepper sauce. It's, I mean, it's the chicken itself is delicious. Nice and moist chicken sauces you don't like. What is that? Bone? Bone? Mm -hmm. Oh no. See if you can cut that. I'm sending this back to the kitchen. But you know what? See, see. If you like red bell pepper sauces, it's really nice. Okay, so I don't think I've really impressed Dipti, but I've impressed myself. <laughs> no? I mean, no, no, it's not that you haven't impressed me. It's just, I mean, it's delicious. It's just not to my taste. So basically, Dipti doesn't like it, even though it's delicious. But uh, hopefully you guys will like it. So do try it. Let me know what you think of my creamy red bell pepper sauce. And I will see you on the next episode of Headbanger's Kitchen. <laughs> So till then, cheers and keep cooking. Ready? Mm. So ready. No, come. No. I mean, after saying all this, I continue to eat and finish it. You must be doing something right. Welcome to my world. Should we do it again? And no. Nice things. No, you're not supposed to. Now it's done. <laughs> <laughs>